The episode opens on a lovely day. Brainstorm, Gwen, and Kevin are at Max's favorite fishing place, which irritates Gwen, while Brainstorm and Kevin are having some kind of competition. They see a man in a cloak going towards Max's favorite tree while they are there. They attempt to gain her attention, but she runs under the tree and flees before they can reach her. Near the tree, a flower was left. They discover a heart etched with the words, Max plus Verdona, on the tree. They're curious about Verdona. They then devise a strategy to keep an eye on the woman and see whether she returns. During this period, Ben becomes bored and fiddles with the vehicle door lock, which irritates Kevin. Gwen then goes to the restroom. During Gwen's departure, Ben plays with Kevin's vehicle door lock even more, which irritates Kevin even more, and he grabs Ben and they dispute. While they are bickering, Ben spots the woman arrive, and Kevin and Jetray jump out of the vehicle and attack her. They realize that the strange woman has the same talents and abilities as Gwen, only more stronger and more powerful. Ben and Kevin are eventually trapped, but just before they are slain, Gwen appears and saves their lives. Shortly later, the gang discovers who the weird woman is. For Dona, Ben and Gwen's grandma. Later, they proceed to Gwen's residence, where she has a conversation with Frank regarding the previous events. Gwen notices Ben and Kevin sitting outside her window and invites them inside. To Gwen's chagrin, Frank believes Kevin is her lover. Verdona then appears, and they all teleport downstairs to where Natalie is, where Verdona starts telling them about how she first met Max. She fell in love with him, but she returned to Anadine to reignite her Anadite ancestry. Verdona attempts to persuade Gwen to come to Anadine for 75 years to control her talents, but Gwen becomes overwhelmed and flees upstairs. Kevin and Ben console her, and Ben reminds her that it's her decision, but Kevin doesn't want her to go and wants her to stay. She then gives him a kiss on the cheek. Gwen returns downstairs and expresses her desire not to go to Anadine, but Verdona has already determined what is best for Gwen and chooses to kill Gwen's body, leaving just the Anadite within. When Ben and Kevin approach her, she transforms into a massive pink-purple luminous humanoid and shoots them out of the home. Verdona fights Gwen, Kevin, and Spider Monkey, but they are no match for her. Gwen eventually persuades Verdona to let her remain on Earth. Verdona eventually reconciles with everyone and departs, but she promises to check in on Gwen on a regular basis, and the story concludes with this.